Hello and today we're going to take a very quick look at the Virgin Media V6 box. I've been a Virgin Media customer for some time now. Uh, this has arrived today, just trying to see how to get into it. So I'm about two weeks from the end of my contract. It's a great time to call and ask for some upgrades. If you've been with Virgin Media for a while, you'll know the V6 box was originally £100. Uh, I called up, got through to the cancellation team and told them I wasn't happy, I was going to cancel, all the usual. They upgraded me from 150 internet to 200, V6 box free of charge with the self-install and I kept my TV and phone line package exactly the same and that came to something like £54 a month. So if you do call up, be nice, polite with them. They, it was a really nice chap I spoke to and he gave me a good deal. So just opening this up, we've got activate install, just follow the instructions. After calling, please lift this flap and grab the setup guide. So let's take a look at what's in. What's in the box, we've got HDMI cable, ethernet cable, self-install guide. There's no need to return your old box. So you can just recycle it by going to a, your old TV, you can just recycle it rather than send it back to Virgin Media. We've got the new remote, it's fairly similar to the old remote. So, new remote, little spanner. The V6 box itself, which is really small in comparison to the standard TiVo box, which uh, again, I'll show you a comparison once I've got it all unwrapped. Very nice, so this is one terabyte box, power brick. There's also a guide for the U TV services. Let's do a quick comparison and then I'll see about getting this set up and running. If you're an existing TiVo customer, you will absolutely love the small size of the new V6. It is tiny in comparison, yet it offers a lot more. So here it is in profile. It's a tiny little box, but it packs in a lot more storage space. This has a terabyte of storage space. My old TiVo had just 500 gig and it now has zero card slots on the back. So you used to have to have these little card things that just plugs in. You can see it doesn't plug in anywhere. Had some problems getting this set up. You had to call to activate, but the first time I tried, it didn't work. I waited 20 minutes or so, tried again, and it worked fine. Then you have to wait for it to go through this setup process where it's getting connected, it's sorting out all your channels, verifying. So let me just show you these two remotes. The one on the right is my original TiVo remote. So the one on the left is the new V6 remote. You can see it's slightly squatter. It has all the same buttons, but it's a little bit more compact. It feels just the same in the hand. It's very nicely weighted. And just close up, you can see absolutely everything is the same. It's just a bit more compact. I have to say the, the biggest benefit to me is the menu speed. This is the original TiVo I'm showing you now. Let's just do a quick comparison of searching for something on catch-up. So we've now got the V6 is the larger screen. The TiVo is in the bottom right. And you can see straight away it, we're off. And I'm just going to search for Doctor Who. And everything about the V6 is so much faster. I found the TiVo incredibly frustrating. And this was one of the points I raised when I was on the call getting this sorted out. I said that the original TiVo was just so slow, iPlayer wasn't very good. And as soon as you heard this, they know that the V6 is so much better. So you can see I'm straight into iPlayer. So I have to say it's worth the upgrade alone just for the speediness of the menu system. While making this review, news broke that Virgin Media were actually going to be upgrading all existing customers to the V6, so you may not actually have to go down the cancellation route like I did. I'm not quite sure what the upgrade process will be, you'll need to check that out with Virgin. If you are towards the end of your contract though, don't wait for an upgrade, ring up and go via the cancellation route anyway, because you may find you can get a better deal by haggling with them. You'll get the V6 box, and as I said earlier, I was upgraded to 200 meg, and they shaved a few pounds off my monthly bill. I hope you found this short overview useful, if you have, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.